Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Dr. Beth Westy here. Um, and today I'm going to touch on how to increase your daily protein. Yesterday I got a ton of great questions on protein absorption. Again, sorry about the wiggliness of the video. Hopefully that's fixed now. Um, if you want to know more information, you can always check out my website or Meal Plans for Women. Uh, my upcoming book, The Female Fat Solution, talking about exercise and nutrition that matches with female hormones, coming out soon, so stay tuned. Um, but my website, www.drbethwesty.com, has a lot more information and my program that you can get that takes you through everything uh, really, really easily, so no worries about following a guide. So uh, just a quick recap on protein absorption, a couple quick things here. Um, if this is your intestine here, you got those little wiggly lines there. That's your, you know, cells called microvilli. That's what helps you absorb nutrients. If your microvilli are damaged, whether it be from decreased immune system or you're eating something that's irritating your stomach, which you'll feel by bloating and gas and other just discomfort in your digestive system, then you're not going to absorb nutrients no matter what you're eating. Um, so oftentimes you'll be malnourished, low iron, low vitamin D levels, all big key factors that are, you know, signifiers, red flags that say, hey, you're not absorbing your food correctly. Um, another thing is to think of the size of protein molecule that you're eating. Again, pea and hemp proteins, teeny, teeny, tiny. Whey proteins are a little bit bigger, but again, small enough to be really, really easily digested. And also studies have shown that if you're looking to increase muscle mass, beef up. Whey protein is the way to go because it does build muscle faster than any other type of protein. <gasps> Invasion of the children. Okay, I'm sweetie, I'm gonna finish my video and then we can talk about the swing. Mom, the okay. The way the swing for me. okay. Soy protein Mom, is <laughs> soy protein is huge, largest protein available for humans to eat, and your body just can't break it down because it is ginormous. You can break down some of it. But overall, you're not going to be absorbing the amount of protein that you want from any protein source that is primarily soy. Small amounts of it you can tolerate. Um, but again, this was another question I had. Somebody was wondering about what about somebody who's been following a shake program that uses soy and they've been getting a good result. Um, for a lot of people, soy actually triggers a big immune reaction, uh, inflammatory reaction in the body. So they'll get swelling. Um, not lose weight, you know, have other issues, and again, look at your ingredients, and that's soy. For people who do, can get a good result if they're only consuming a small amount of soy, specifically the brand that they were talking about. The shake only had nine grams of protein, which is not any significant amount for the day, and we're gonna cover that here. Um, and by changing your overall eating habits, eating healthier, eating cleaner, increasing your protein overall throughout the day with whole foods, you can get a better result. So I would say that's more you know, likely in terms of using a soy product and getting some type of positive result. Long term though, it's gonna cause more damage to your digestive tract. Okay, so how to increase your daily protein levels. And why this is important is because when you increase your protein, you're gonna increase your energy, increase your recovery time from workouts, you're gonna be able to support your lean body mass a lot better, especially for people who either have injuries and they can't work out to the level that they want to or um, are overweight and they're really struggling with where to start. I know I should work out and I know I should do this, uh, but I'm having trouble physically doing some of these activities. Increasing your protein is the perfect place to start because it starts with just what you're eating. It's not necessarily canceling out food, it's just changing what you're eating and focusing on the protein and not calories. I'll do a different video on calories and why you should not count calories at all. Counting calories is stupid. Okay. Protein amounts differ per person. So this is different for your body size, you know, height, weight, your goals, and then your overall health. Meaning if your absorption is decreased for some reason and stress can do this, stress can decrease the amount you're going to absorb. You're going to need to increase your daily number of protein, the daily amount that you're eating to combat that so that you do have more available to absorb because you're going to be absorbing less. Hopefully that makes sense. In terms of height and weight and everything else, um, the hard thing for some people to really kind of wrap their head around is that not everybody needs the same amount of protein. So I'm a tall gal, I'm 6'2". So my protein levels for the day are gonna be very different from somebody who is 5'2". <laughs> so what I'm eating and my goals to get to for the day are very, very different. So I'm just gonna give you an example, and this is a general guideline or suggestion on how to increase your protein levels 
and say we're going to be trying to get to 125 about grams for the day, which may sound like a ton, may sound like a lot, and a lot of times it's more than most people are getting. Yes, okay, great. How do you do that? This is a really quick, easy way to break it down. Break down 125 into five different meals or mini meals throughout the day. So you're eating every two and a half, three hours. That helps keep your blood sugars up, everything else. I'll do another video on blood sugars. Um, so I love talking about this stuff. So great way to do this. So you're, say you're eating five times a day, which you should because it boosts your metabolism even more. Easy way to do this, breakfast, two eggs, which a lot of people do. They're like, I'm eating a couple of eggs. But an egg has anywhere to six to maybe seven grams of protein. So total with those two eggs, you're only getting 14 grams of protein here. Good, but it's not top loading with protein. If you add on two slices of cheese to that, and I'm talking like, I'm not talking about the packaged, you know, singles or whatever, not, none of that junk. This is like real cheese, like mozzarella. And that has about seven grams per serving. So you're getting two slices there. You're getting another 14 grams there. Right away now for breakfast, you're getting 28 grams. Boom. That's over 25. That's fantastic. So in terms of absorption, eggs are really easy to absorb. And depending on your, you know, if you're lactose intolerant, it may be different. But again, cheese slices are great. I know, I know, sweetie. Okay, I'm still, I'm almost done. Almost done. Okay. A shake for a snack. It's fast, easy, quick, on the go. And the shakes that I recommend for people have a minimum of at least 24 grams of protein per serving. And depending on your digestion or other health conditions, I will recommend for people either a whey or a dairy-free protein. If you have questions, message me or comment below or whatever. And again, if you're using something and you're like, I'm not getting this, the result I want or how do I do this or that or the other, snap a picture of what you're taking you know, of the label or send me the brand and I'd be more than happy to chat with you about it and say, hey, if you have been doing this for this long and you're not seeing a result and it's not the right thing for you, switch to a dairy-free or switch to this level or whatnot. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so 24 grams here. Lunch, say you're having a wrap or something for lunch. Again, you can pack that whether you're going to work or school or whatever on the go. A tortilla, say turkey. Again, for turkey, you're going to have sometimes 15 grams of protein per serving. You can even up that and do like a serving and a half or add a little bit more than just one typical serving. So you can be shooting for at least 20 grams of protein. And then just one serving of cheese here, again, it'd be about seven grams of protein. And you can add whatever else you want on there. You know, um, avocado, sprouts, spinach, whatever, great. But in terms of protein and really looking at that, you're looking at 27 grams of protein here then for your lunch. Snack, another shaker bar. Again, recommending something that you're gonna get at least 24 grams of protein here. And then dinner, even, so grilled chicken, say vegetable and quinoa, something healthy, something clean. I'm not putting any other you know, um, spices or marinades or sauces or dressings or anything on this. You can add that in. Healthy fats are good. It's beneficial to have healthy fats in your diet. So I like to cook my eggs with coconut oil, flowers. all those things. It's fantastic. Um, grilled chicken here, even if you're eating a half of a chicken breast, a medium to a large size chicken breast, you can get anywhere from 35 to even 50 grams of protein with just the chicken. So. We'll go on the lower end of that and say it's even just 35 grams of protein right here. So with all of that, 35 grams, you're getting way more. You're getting more than 125 grams per day because you're top loading and you're getting more than just the 25 grams at least per mini meal. But this is also absorption rise going to make sure that you're absorbing at least 125 grams for the day. So really easy, simple way to do this. Breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. 25 grams at each one is what you're shooting for or even a little bit more. Then total, you know you're gonna be absorbing at least 125 grams. So this is a quick, easy meal plan. Sorry about the door slamming. They're almost going to school, so. <laughs> um, so anyway, they are, this is quick, easy way to do it. If you have questions, let me know. If you want more information on something specific or if you're wondering, I don't like eggs or can't eat eggs or what do I do if I'm totally dairy free, how do I do this? Message me, I'd be more than happy to help you kind of tweak some things so that it works best for you. But doing this, you're gonna notice an increase in energy, increase in recovery, leaning your body out very, very quickly.
So everybody have a great day. And um, we're going to talk more about protein, how to get that into your diet, protein absorption overall, and what this looks like long term, and then how fast you can expect to get results from following something like this. So we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Everybody have a great Thursday.